oh, the internet just went bonkers when I released this video saying, oh, the weak rate Lumos, bye bye Xtool F1. Well, that's because the F1 was released in May of 2023. Yeah, and they went bonkers. How dare you! Oh, the internet can be such a comical place, especially in the comment sections of a YouTube video. People honestly believe that the F1 Ultra and F2 Ultra were upgrades of the original F1. <laughs> for instance, take a look at this comment. You are joking, trolling. There is for sure an upgrade. The F1 Ultra and the F2 Ultra. LOL. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I mean, there's no reasoning with some of these people. Here's my comment back. The F1 is a 10 watt blue diode with a 2 watt IR, which is what the Lumos is competing with. This isn't competing against a 20 watt diode with a 20 watt fiber, as mentioned in the video. Oh, but you are wrong. Sorry, but the F1 Ultra and F2 are upgrades of the F1. The Lumos is behind the game. Sorry, but no. Now that there's official version 2, let's compare it against the weak rate, shall we? Please keep in mind, prices do fluctuate. As of right now, the weak rate Lumos is $10.99. Now let's go over the specs. The We Create Lumos is a 10 watt diode with 3 watt IR, high speed engraving up to 4000 millimeters per second, has autofocus, manual focus, it's fully enclosed, working area of 116 by 116 millimeter, has a 50 megapixel smart camera, has the optional conveyor and smoke purifier, diode dot size is 0 0.05 by 0 0.05 millimeter, IR dot size 0 0.01 millimeter by 0 0.01 millimeter, Max cut for basswood, 6mm, and max cut for a colored acrylic, 6mm, with multiple passes. Currently, the X-Tool F2 is on the Black Friday special for $13.49. The X-Tool F2 is a dual-source, 15-watt diode, 5-watt IR, high-speed engraving, up to 6,000mm per second, autofocus and manual focus, fully enclosed, working area of 115 by 115 mm 50 megapixel smart camera, optional conveyor with also optional air purifier, dial dot size 0.08 millimeter by 0.06 millimeter, IR dot size 0.03 by 0.03, and max cut for basswood 15 millimeter, max cut for colored acrylic 12 millimeter with multiple passes. Well, it's all about portability and weight. Whew, Lumos is 7 kilograms. Oh, it needs on GLP 1. Meanwhile, that too is just a measly 4.6 kilograms. That's nice. And if you fancy the color orange, you're gonna love these enclosures. Yep, both of them are orange. And um, they both lift up and down for easy access to the build plate. Both of them have pull tabs, so you can remember to remove that darn safety cover lens, but you always wanna make sure you have it on when you're not using it. Just a nice little reminder. The Wii Crate has a 4.6 inch build plate. And look at you get two jigs. And let's go ahead and remove this build plate because we could now insert the prism inside of there. This is for cutting to allow airflow underneath. So the X-Tool is just a little bit smaller at 4.53 inches for the build plate, but you only get one of these little jigs. Let's go ahead and remove it and put the prism in. There we go. Perfect fit. Yeah, that'll work. Anyways, you can remove these uh, build plates so you can actually do pass-through engraving on both the Wii Create and the X-Tool, which is a great plus. Now, like I said, you could actually engrave past the build plate through the pass-through, but the Wii Create also has this portable shield, which I suggest just do not use, because look at that. See that gap down there? Yeah, you got laser light bleed right there. And you will also have laser light bleed behind the fan because you also do not get a pair of safety glasses. So why would you use this with laser light bleed when they do not include safety glasses with it? Remind you, neither of them come with safety goggles. Now let's go over some controls. On the Wii Crate, you have your manual focus up and down, the autofocus button, you have auxiliary in, and then you have a rotary on the side. We go to the back, it's a three inch exhaust, and then you have a USB power input and a power on off. And then the other side, nothing. Absolutely nothing. But on the top, you have a start button to start your job. It processes it. Kind of weird spot for it. On the right side of the X2 F2, you have your manual focus with processing job. Below that is your frame button. And below that is your rotary and then your computer input. 
And then on the back, you have a two and a half inch exhaust. Then you have your on off, your power input, then you have your purifier, foot switch, safety lock, and optional external display. Then on the other side, your emergency stop. I guess we create is just using on off instead. It's worth pointing out that you have lifting rollers to help assist the slide of this, but found that they tend to absorb some um, dust and debris. Meanwhile, the WeCreate has some type of linear rails on, that's on the side that helps avoid any dust and debris that's created while engraving and cutting. So I think this is a little bit better of a solution. It's the first time I'm actually giving an opinion. Uh-oh, or stop. Both enclosures exceed their build area for placing materials. Like uh, the WeCreate is about nine and a quarter by seven inches. While the X-Tool is about five and a half by six. That's not too bad. Okay, let's go ahead and power both on. And uh, the X-Tool powers up pretty quickly in comparison to the weak rate. And you'll see that uh, both of them will illuminate uh, their logos on there. And you'll see that uh, the weak rate is still focusing and it's not ready just yet. We'll wait for the lights to turn on the inside. There we go. So yeah, about 10 to 15 seconds for the weak rate to be fully operational. And they both have very nice illumination. For your material. Both do have LEDs that surround the lens and uh, I think the weak rate is just one um, set brightness while you could adjust the brightness on the X tool. So that's actually a nice touch for the X tool. Now both do have 50 megapixel cameras. I mean honestly I understand why you do need you know a high resolution camera on some of these for especially for accuracy but I really believe 50 megapixels is kind of excessive for a laser. And both do have autofocus, so when the blue and red dot lines up, that means you're actually in focus. Now you can manually overwrite this and do this on your own if you so choose. Just gotta line up the dots. Now, if you watched my F2 video, you recognize this waterproof container from Harbor Freight, and it's about four inches tall. And I was really shocked when I placed it underneath the X tool and it actually went to the height. And I believe this is like the max height. Very, very impressed because I really thought that I was going to have to place this underneath the X tool to do a pass through engraving. But as you can see, you can put some pretty tall materials in there and it's focused. Now let's go ahead and try the We Create and hit the autofocus. It does focus a little bit faster than the X tool. And actually, it's almost about twice as fast. Done. And there it is, both focused with that tall piece of material in there. Now when it comes to software, they are both homebrew software. And you can tell here that the material library for the, the we create is pretty lackluster. I mean, you get leather, plastic, silicone, rubber, metal, and stone ceramic. That is about it. Now you can go ahead and create your own test grids if you so choose, but this is the material library that's basically, that comes with it. So you don't really have many options. And across the top, you're going to have your standard center, color, rotate, reflect. And then you could also do filters like invert. And this is good for it if you're going to engrave something on like a, on a coaster, like a slate or something black. You're going to want to invert your image. And then you could do image processing. You could edit your image. So you can do some things with it. But it's not that much. Again, on the top, you could do your reflect, smart fill, offset, array. Then you can do images. This is like kind of like clip art. Um, you know, they all have this stuff. Wingdings, <laughs> I don't know. Then you got your regular shapes, your text, your pen. And you got this AI. Now when I click on it, I'm gonna click on uh, AI filters and let's see what happens. Okay, so yeah, you could change like uh, the style here. You could do, let's say coloring. I'm gonna go and pick up Oreo here and let's see if we could do coloring. And I'm going to choose um, use image and let's see what happens. Uh uh, I need to be a member. And well, I really can't be a member because this was sent to me for a review. So I'm still working on getting my order number. And it's the same thing here when I say create a uh, 2022 F350 members only. So can't really test out the AI on here, unfortunately. And there has not been any updates to the software since I installed this over five months ago. So there's that. Where are the updates where you create? 
And I think some more to the material library will be a great plus. Now let's take a look at the Xtool Studio software. That's pretty much the same layout. On the right side though, you will see a vast library of materials that you could choose from. Anything from wood to metal, various metals, plastics, you got vinyl, you got paper, silicone, rubber, leather, stone, and then you get into the specialized stuff like screen printing. Since we have an image, we're going to click on edit and you can see all the different settings you can use. You could do a crop image, AI cut, AI expand. Now anything with AI, as I brought up in the other videos for the F2 and the, the F2 Ultra UV, is that these are credit systems. So you're going to have to spend some credits to actually use it. And then you could also invert, like we saw there, you got your text, you got your line, and then templates. Templates is nice. It's basically like projects and you could get going pretty quickly. Then you have elements, which is, you know, your little characters and stuff and patterns. Then there is the measurements, batch fill, smart nesting, code generation for doing QR codes and such, material test array, and so forth. Then you have your AI. Again, this AI is credit based, so you're going to have to buy credits to be able to use it. And I believe it's uh, for $10 to get 500 credits. So we'll use it wisely. Definitely a lot more mature and Xtool updates their software regularly. Now, of course, this is just a brief overview of both machines and their functionality. I do have full reviews of both of these lasers and I'll definitely link them down below. So who won this round? Well, we all know who won round one, which was the We Create Lumos. That's because the F2 definitely wasn't out yet. And it's all pure speculation. And everyone really thought in the comment section that the F1 and F2 Ultra were the upgrades. Yeah, absolutely not. Definitely proved them wrong in the comment section well before this machine came out. Almost like I predicted the future. I should have bought lotto tickets back then. Now, who won round two? Well, I guess it kind of depends. If you're willing to spend that extra $300 price gap, I believe the Xtool F2 definitely beat out the We Create Lumos. Now, don't get me wrong. Both machines are very capable, and for the prices, you're getting a lot for these machines. Some may want the extra build area and functionality of the We Create Lumos, while others want the more compact and uh, more refined software of the Xtool F2. Just remember, it's great to see competition in all spaces because it only benefits us, the customer. Now I have something negative to say about both of them. I actually kind of said something towards the beginning of the video. Neither of these manufacturers provide safety goggles, and both of these manufacturers show these lasers open when using the conveyor system as well as the rotary. So I want us as consumers to push these manufacturers to provide proper certified safety goggles for every laser, no matter if they're enclosed or not. And that's my rant for that. So I truly appreciate you tuning in to Tripods Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend home whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you again on Tripods Garage.